everybody. Thanks for joining me. It's Ms. Deverly. We are in week five of the spring term. We will be looking at our fundamentals B-Day material. Now we will actually be stripe testing this week. So pay particular attention. Be thinking about which of these techniques you like best so that you can maybe demonstrate that for us over video. Be thinking about that as you're moving through everything today. Um, we are going to be looking at for our B-Day material our palm heel strike one step. We are also going to be looking at the Jack Benny with our aggressive elbow, our four palm heels, and we're going to be looking at that open the door. Now we're going to be adding on a little bit this week, not too much, really just adding on vocalization, having you use your voice in self-defense a really important thing to do. I'm glad we're adding it to these techniques. I know that makes a little bit, excuse me, a few of you a little bit uncomfortable, but it's really important to get used to using your voice in self-defense. So make sure you practice that at home this week as we add it in. So let's start as we do every lesson by bowing in. You'll go ahead and join me, please. Sharyut Kine. Tenets of Taekwondo begin. Courtesy, humility, integrity, perseverance, self-control, indomitable spirit, kidney. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and warm up, get our muscles moving. We're going to start with a warm up by, by looking at palm heel um, strike one step. So let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> now, we are going to start again by looking at what happens when you're the bad guy. All right, so we're going to start in our beginning position here. If you're actually being the attacker, your partner will nod at you. And we know that when they nod at you, that means you're going to step back, low block, and yell. So let's go ahead and try that together. Your partner nods, you step back, low block, and yell. Hey! That's all you got to do, then you can stop until they ask for the attack. Now for the attack for this one step, instead of doing the haymaker punch, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to open up our hands. It's a little bit different technique, but it's a little bit safer for our partners. Pretty much we're just doing that open hand strike we've been practicing in our A day, but we're doing it high section. All right, let's try the go back and then we'll add the attack. We're here, our partner nods, we're going to step back. Hey! They're going to ask for an attack. We're going to step through and... Do an open hand strike, just like that. Let's try it one more time. In our beginning stance, our partner's gonna nod, we're gonna step out and yell. Hey! Attack, step through, strike. And then you just stay right there until they're done doing what they need to do. Now, if we're doing the actual one step, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Again, we'll start here. This time, we'll do the nodding. So we're gonna nod at our partner. Good. Then we're going to get into our beginning stance. We're going to get left side forward in our Jack Benny. From here, when we're ready, we're going to ask for our attack. We're going to wedge up. We're going to do four palm heels. Middle, high, middle, high. Foot stomp. And we're going to elbow on the way out. Hey! Let's try that again. Attack. Middle, high, middle, high. Hey! One more time as part of our warm up. Attack. Hey! Good. Of course, we will practice that a little bit more in the lesson. Just get ourselves moving right now. We're also going to go ahead in our warm up and take a look at the open the door. So we're going to begin this, of course, in a parallel stance. We're going to imagine that we're being touched here on our right shoulder. Right now, you can just look. What we're going to do is open up while redirecting. We're going to imagine that our bad guy's coming back in. So then we're going to do four palm heel strikes. All right, so let's do that together. If you'll go ahead and join me. We're in our parallel stance. They're going to touch us on this shoulder. And go. Redirect. Wedge, wedge. Excuse me. I said wedge. We're actually doing palm heel strikes. Let's try that again. Right here, we're going to move this shoulder. And go. All right? Make sure you're always coming back to your wedge after you throw those palm heels as well. Let's try that again. Right here, they're going to touch us. We're going to redirect and then 
palm heel, palm heel, palm heel, palm heel. Good. All right, let's try it on the other side. So they're just going to touch us right here on this shoulder. Otherwise, we're going to do the same thing. And go. Redirect. Strikes. All right, let's try that again. Right here. And go. Good. One more time. And go. Good. Again, just warm it up, getting the butt muscles moving. We'll be practicing that and adding on during the actual lesson. So let's go ahead and do arch stretch. Let's go over to the right first. Good. And over to the other side. Really stretch on your tiptoes, fingers as far up as you can get them. Really stretching our sides. Good. And then let's go ahead and take it down to the floor. We're going to just touch the floor. Feel this in your legs and in your low back. Great. Let's go ahead and put our hands on our low back, and then we're going to bend backwards gently. Let's go ahead and do our rotations now. Really make sure you're moving from the middle here. So we're just going to take it side to side. Good. And then let's just take it up towards the ceiling. Same move, working a little bit different muscles. Nice. Let's go ahead and take our left arm out. We're going to pull in with the other. You'll feel this here in your shoulder, right along the tricep area there as well. And then the switch sides. And you should feel this, but it shouldn't hurt. So make sure you don't overdo your stretches. Great. Let's go ahead and link those fingers. Push out, thumbs down. You'll, of course, feel this in your fingers and in your wrists, but you may feel it all the way up your arms as well. That's okay. And then take that up towards the ceiling. Okay. Sure you can. Good. So we're nice and warm. We're nice and stretched. Let's go ahead and jump into our lesson. So we're going to start with that one step. Um, if you have someone you can work with, great. Have them sitting by and close. Let's go ahead and look at it in the air together one more time, maybe two. Then we'll see about adding a partner. All right, so for the one step, we'll start in our ready position. I want to make sure this week that you continue what we were doing last week. Really pay attention to where you're placing your technique. Those palm heels are going to be middle, high, middle, high. Look and then place. Really keep your focus on that. Make sure you keep your focus on your bad guy at the end while you're disengaging as well. You always want to know where they are and what they're doing. So make sure you maintain that real focus on what you're doing during your one step. We're going to do it a little bit slow this first time, then we'll speed it up the next time so you can get a little bit better feel for it. If you're comfortable, if you still don't know quite what you're doing, you can keep it at a nice slow pace. All right. We're in position. We're going to nod our partner back. Then we're going to get to our beginning stance. Jack Benny, left side forward. When you're ready, ask for your attack. Attack! Hey! Good. Let's try that again. We're going to make it a little bit faster this time. If you feel comfortable doing that, we're just doing it in the air right now. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get to our beginning stance. We nod. Jack Benny, left side forward. Attack. Hey! Good. Now, if you have someone who's available to work with you, great. Go ahead and grab them. Let's start really coming up. If you don't, that's okay. Keep practicing in the air. There's nothing wrong with that. You'll get a lot of benefit from doing that. Now, if you have someone available, of course, do be careful. 
Take it slow this first time. If you guys both feel comfortable, you can always add speed a little bit later. Check your distance with your partner. Good. Going to nod. She's going to go back. I'm going to go Jack Benny, left side forward, before I ask for my attack. I want to make sure I'm ready. Attack. Let's try that again. <clears throat> Go ahead and check your distance. Always good to check distance each time. Nod my partner back. I'm going to get into position. Attack. Good. We're going to try this one more time. Again, if you and your partner feel comfortable adding a little bit more speed, do that. Do take note, we're not actually touching our partner during these one steps. I'm coming close. I'm simulating where I would be placing that, but we're not actually making contact. We want this to be safe for you and, of course, for your partner. We want them to be willing to help us in the future, so we don't want to cause any injuries. All right, let's check our distance. All right. Get into position. Attack. strike one step. Again, we want to make sure we're using middle high, middle high. We want to have good focus. We want to keep our attention on our bad guy as we're disengaging. As you feel more comfortable, you can add a little bit more speed. It's a good way to make it more realistic. Adds a little more power as well. If you need more practice, take the videotape back. Feel free to watch it a couple more times. And if you don't have a partner, it's perfectly okay to practice this all by yourself. That's what you're going to need to know to be able to do this for your stripe test or for your belt test down the road. All right, let's move on to our next technique for the evening. We're going to look at our Jack Benny with our elbow strike and our four palm heels. Now, we are going to add to this this week by using our vocalization. We're going to add that no. It's not going to be a question. It's going to be a command. It's going to be loud. It's going to be confident. We're going to add it for each of the palm heels that we do. So let's go ahead and practice this together in the air. Then we'll bring our partner in. All right. So let's get into a Jack Benny stance. Um, left side forward, right here. Now first I'm going to demonstrate. So you can just watch this time. I'm going to be here in my Jack Benny. I'm going to have a bad guy moving in. So I'm going to aggressively do that wedge, make it a bit of a strike. Then we're going to add the four palm heels with the no. So it's going to be no, 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 no. Of course, I'm going to come back to my wedge and I'm going to shuffle away. Again, keeping my eye on my bad guy. I want to know what they're doing the entire time. So, go ahead and join me this time. I know it can be nerve-wracking to make noise, but do it anyways. It's really important for self-defense. The more you do it, the more natural it'll feel. So, we're in our Jack Benny stance. Left side forward. We're going to do our wedge strike. Four palm heels while saying no, then we're going to get away from our bad guy. Let's do this together. And go. No, 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 no. Try it again. Same side. Go. No, 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 no. You can also make your face look mean. I like to do that while I do self-defense. All right. Let's try it again. And go. No, 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 no. Good. Let's switch sides. <clears throat> right side forward in our Jack Benny. Otherwise, same thing. And go. No, 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 no. Yep. Right back in position. Go. No, 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 no. One last time, then we're going to bring our partner in. Go. No, 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 no. Good. All right. If you have a partner available to help you, go ahead and grab them. Come on back, Ms. Everly. Now, we are working with a shield. If you have a shield at home available, fabulous. If you don't, 
that's okay. Um, you can use something like a couch cushion. That'll work just fine. Again, when you're doing techniques like this on something that's an improvised tool, make sure you bring your power back just a little bit. This is fairly robust, nice and thick, good, strong padding. Couch cushion may not be quite that thick or robust. So we, might, we wanna make sure we're keeping our partner safe while we're doing this. So keep that in mind if you're improvising. Now, otherwise we're doing exactly what we just did. My partner's gonna be my bad guy, they're gonna move in. I'm gonna stop them with that elbow strike. I'm gonna do my four palm heels while yelling. No, 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 no. And then I'm gonna get away. All right, so go ahead and get your partner and yourself in position. We're gonna start left side forward in our Jack Benny. I'm gonna go ahead and tell her go so she'll start moving in. And from there, you need to stop her with that elbow before moving on to your palm heels. Let's go ahead and give this a try together. So get into position. And go. No, 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 no. Good. Let's try that again. Back into position. Go. Go, 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 go. Good. Again, right back into position. Go. No, 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 no. Nice. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Now again, we move just so you guys can see, but you can just switch the side you're doing. Okay. Jack Benny stance again. Go. No, 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 no. Good. Again, back into position. Go. No, 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 no. One last time. Really make this one count. Go. No, 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 no. Thank you, Ms. Everly. That's actually a lot of fun. You really get to feel like you're, you're doing real self-defense. So I encourage you to, to be, be assertive with this one. Really use that elbow to stop them. Really think about placement of your palm heels and really, really use that voice. Don't be afraid to assert for yourself vocally. A bad guy's gonna believe you if you're really gonna tell them confidently not to do something. So please, please, please make sure you practice that. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our last technique for the evening, the open the door. So we're gonna start this again, just stationary, um, just practicing sort of ourselves doing it, and then we'll add our partner in here in just a little bit. So let's go. Parallel stance here. We're going to imagine they're touching our right shoulder. We're just going to open the door, redirect with our hand. That's all I need for us to do right now. So, go. And bring that wedge up. Let's try the same thing again on that same side. Go. Good. One more time on that side. Go. Nice. Let's go ahead and practice on the other side. Same thing. Redirect and wedge. Go. Again, go. One more time. Go. Good. Let's go ahead and bring our partner up to practice a little bit with us. We're going to do that very simple variation right there with our eyes opened. Then we're going to do our eyes closed. So we're going to keep it simple for that part. Come on up, Miss Everly. Now here, this is what we've been doing the prior weeks. She's just going to Eyes open right now. Touch me. I'm going to redirect and wedge. That's all we're going to do for this part right now. She's going to use her right hand to touch my right shoulder. So go ahead and get your partner in position. If you guys want to watch this first time, that's okay. And go. Redirect and wedge. Good. Let's try that again. If you haven't joined, go ahead. Go. Redirect, wedge. Nice. <clears throat> One more time on that side. Go. Redirect, wedge. All right, let's switch sides. <clears throat> We're going to do the same thing. Yep. Other side. She's going to take her left hand to my left shoulder. And go. Redirect, wedge. Again. Go. Redirect, wedge. One more time. Go. Good. Now, if 
you and your partner feel comfortable, we're going to go ahead and close the eyes. For the ones of us who are opening the door, bad guys, you can keep your eyes open. So for this, we're actually going to let your partner touch either shoulder they like. You won't know. Your eyes will be closed. You'll just need to respond appropriately, which is going to be opening the door. Now, once they've touched you, you can open your eyes. And you can go ahead and add your redirect as well. Could be a little bit tougher with having your eyes closed initially, but give it a try. Do remember to keep it as a push, not a calm heel. We don't want a lot of power. You don't need a lot of power, but we do need partners, so we don't want to hurt them. So make it a redirect, not a full-on powerful strike. Again, make sure both you and your partner are comfortable doing this with your eyes closed. If so, go ahead and join us. All right, so I am going to close my eyes. Ms. Deverly will come up and touch either shoulder. I will open the door appropriately. So will you. All right, let's do it. Eyes closed. Good. Now, I was still able to get my eyes open and redirect. You try that too. It's a little bit tougher, but I think you guys can do it as well. Eyes closed. Good. One more time. And again, they can touch either side, so we don't actually have to switch places this time. Last time. Eyes closed. Good. Nice. All right, thank you. Now, we're going to continue open the door. We're going to continue actually working with our partner. She's going to go and get a shield. Come on back, Ms. Everly. So, she's got a shield, as we've already talked about. You can use a couch cushion. That's okay, too. What we're going to do here is she's going to be moving in with the shield. I'm going to open the door, use my redirect. As my bad guy, she's going to move back in. I'm going to do my four palm heel strikes while using my vocalization, no, 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 no. And then I'll shuffle step away in my wedge guard. So we're going to demonstrate this first time, then you can join in. All right. So eyes are going to be open, of course. Doesn't matter which side you open the door on because she's not touching one side or the other. We're just getting out of the way. I would suggest you try to practice both sides or do one and then the other. But honestly, whatever feels natural, as long as you're getting out of the way, that's okay. All right. And go. She's coming back in. No, 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 no. And get away. Good. All right. So go ahead and join us. If you have a partner, have them help. If not, do it in the air. That's perfectly fine, too. Go. And try to open the door on the other side this time. She's coming back in. Go, 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 go. Let's do that again. Again, change up your size. Use your voice. vocal self-defense. Believe it or not, a lot of times a very assertive and confident no or let go or keep away can avoid you having to get into any sort of physical altercation. So it's a really good thing to practice. All right, so today we got to look at our one step, really nice. We got to look at our Jack Benny and we got to practice the open the door and we got to add our voice to our self-defense. I know that can be a little bit nerve-wracking for some folks, but do keep doing it. Practice it. The more you practice it, the easier it'll get. Look in the mirror a few times a week and just practice saying no. Make it a command. Make it confident. Look at yourself while you do it. The more you do it, the more natural it'll feel. And it's a really great tool to have in your self-defense toolkit. So make sure you do that. All right, let's go ahead and 
make this official by bowing out. If you'll go ahead and join me. Sharyut Kine. Student Oath Begin. I pledge to be a champion of freedom and justice. I pledge to observe the tenets of Taekwondo. I pledge to respect my instructors and my fellow students. I pledge never to misuse Taekwondo. I pledge to build a more peaceful world. Kine. Now, make sure you practice the stuff a couple of times this week. The more you practice, the better you'll be. Also, make sure that you send us a video clip of you doing your favorite material from the Fundamentals B material that we've looked at this week. We would love to see what you're doing, what you're up to, how you're progressing with your Taekwondo. <clears throat> Again, if you have any questions about anything we've done, make sure to send that on to Mr. Booker. He'll be happy to send it on to us so that we can address that in any of our other videos. But thank you guys for joining me tonight. Uh, practice, practice, practice. Take care. Have fun. We'll see you next time.